Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pearl. If you're new here, in today's video, we're going to be testing out the Love Beauty Secrets the Incredible Collaboration. This is their first side palette. I'm going to be testing it. Obviously, I have the palette. Uh, this is what I use to create my look that we have on today. I'm just going to be telling you as I go on and I do this makeup look how and what I thought about the palette and if I think it's worthy of you paying your coins, paying your coins to get this palette. Okay, so please stay tuned for my review. Finally got my hands on the Royal Beauty Christie in Colourpop Collab and it's the Afro Side palette and this palette is so gorgeous. I'm going to show you guys how it looks like it's like this. Can you guys see it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I also got the Colourpop Stone Cold Fox brushes when they were on sale for like 20 something dollars. It was originally like a hundred and something dollars and I tried to get, I tried to use a coupon to get like extra points like off it and they wouldn't let me i feel like when i added the coupon the extra coupon it took it back to like 90 something bucks i was like no i'm not doing that i'm just not like why would i do that so when i can get it for 28 dollars so i shut it off by using the p louise base in the shade 00 to prime my lids So I'm going to go in with Emerald City right here. I'm going to dip in it with this like green shade right here. Let's be going into evergreen. So I'm going to be going in with West Coast. Using my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation. This is the shade 470, I think 470C. The Revolution concealer in the shade 14.2. Actually, I don't like this concealer shade. I added the Too Faced Concealer in the shade Butterscotch to give me a more highlighted look underneath my eyes. And then I'm just blending it with a brush. I'm using the ACC, AC Cosmetics Dare Setting Powder in the shade Butternut Beige. This was like literally my, this was like literally one of my favorite setting powders. And I have two of these. I'm using the Prime Beauty bronzer in the shade Brownsville. You guys, this bronzer is one of the best bronzers out there for brown girls, dark skin girls. They have other shades, I'm sure, on their website. But you guys, can you see how this is one of like this is like the perfect bronzer shade for me? 
I'm lining my lips with the Morphe Lights Out uh, eye pencil, the black eye pencil they have on their website. Usually it's darker than this. I'm not sure what was happening this day. But I also added the ninth lip pencil by Minted Cosmetics. And I went in with the Juvia's Place Burly Dare Lip Gloss to create this perfect lip gloss combo that we have here. I'm using the Glocane highlighter by the Crayon Case. And you guys, I was a little bit scared to try to use this highlighter because it's like pretty light, like icy looking. But it looked perfect when it was done. It wasn't ashy at all. I used it for my inner corner highlight. I also used it to highlight the bridge of my nose. And I used it to highlight my cheekbones. So I think you should get this nice little palette, of course, because why not? It's like, I don't know. I actually don't know if it's like still in stock. I know it was sold out the last time I checked. Um, so yeah, this eyeshadow palette is gorgeous. Like, look at the shades. The shades came out like it blended perfectly on my eyelid. I used Fiddlehead and Emma. No, no, I didn't use Fiddlehead. This shade Evergreen. I shade West Coast. I'm out city. And I use the shade PNW to save this beautiful look that we have on today. Now, you guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. Have you guys ever purchased Colourpop palettes? Like, if you have, have you ever had any issues with your palette? I, I should have also tested the performance of the eyeshadow palette with the without the P. Louise base to see how we performed. But I know the P. Louise base kind of makes everything like um, better. So next time I think I will try it without a few these days, but this kind of was great. Like blendability, A plus, um, pigmentation, the pigment was really pigmented. I love it. I have actually I have no complaints. There's no fallout. Fallout wasn't bad with this palette. Oh my god, this is a perfect fall palette. The shades are beautiful. Honestly, like you can create so many looks with this palette. Like. I feel like I should I stayed away from the normal green and gold combination because I feel like a lot of people will be doing green and gold. But I don't care, like it was the first thing that attracted my like, my eyes went to, so I did it anyways. But in the next video that I have for you guys so stay tuned, I'll hopefully I would try to use this shades right here and tell you how to do. I wanted to do a three one um tutorial, but there's no time for that today. But do I think this palette is an amazing buy? I do think it's an amazing buy Rob Beauty Christy really did everything with this palette. The shade, the colors pop on dark skin. Um they're very easy to use. The shades like the shimmers are buttery. The mattes are not chalky at all. I hate chalky palettes. Okay, I have some chalky palettes that I'm just itching to get rid of that I should get rid of. I don't know, they're just taking space in my collection. But yeah this palette is perfect. Then Beauty A1 um color pigmentation A a um ease of use a like yeah go out and buy this palette if you can you wouldn't be disappointed with this palette i promise you so yeah if you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up subscribe and i hope to see you in my next video